Mike Hargo of the Cleveland Indians, and you are watching Jack Up the Rev. They came, they saw, and they were conquered. I'm referring to the Valparaiso University Crusaders from Saturday's game with Steve Wiley and Joe Catullo. YG Pecos came in after a huge victory against Pittsburgh. I know everybody remembers that game. And why she won 59 to nothing. And guess what, Steve? What's that? Valpo scored as many points as they have scholarship players on the football team. Zero. Good one. Thanks. Uh, what did you think about the game, Steve? Well, YCU had eight touchdowns on the game, 21 points in the first five minutes. And you know what? They couldn't quit scoring touchdowns. As a matter of, hold up, Chip. One sec, one sec. What are you doing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Would you believe that? Well, well, YCU just scored another touchdown. Shocker. Let's hear from Eric Wolford and some of the players after the game. Playing, playing Valpo, and next we go in Albany, I think it's just we got to do the same thing, just play like it did against Pitt. You know, we're on assignment, and, uh, you know, we're on assignment from the man upstairs. We're on assignment for the community. We're on assignment for this university. We're on assignment for this program. And our assignment is, is to be 1-0 and every week. Meanwhile, in other sports, the Washi soccer team fell on this beautiful field on Sunday to Niagara, but are still 4 1 the season. And I don't remember the last time they had four wins. It's been at least two years. And now we're going to go see for volleyball. Steve, get off your phone! YSU scored another touchdown! The volleyball team played over the weekend, too, going 2 and 1 to improve their record to 8 and 3 on the season. Now let's go to our highlight of the week. A sports recap with the jam bar. I'm Joe Catullo. Go deep! And remember to always jack up the rev. Hey, you go deep. All right. <laughs>